<laughs> that was a big uh-oh. All right, so let's see. What, what gambit can we play against the English? We can play here. Oh, and there's a potential to get... Wait. There is some potential to get the trap that we're farming for in reverse. If here I can play here and then d4, we might be able to get the trap in reverse. Here we will not be able to. However, we have a backup plan. And the backup plan is to farm a gambit for the Holy Gambit Grail so that we can put it on YouTube, cross it off a list. Because this did start as a Janish gambit. All right, let's just position this thing, get castled. So the point of this gambit should be that we're trying to uh, give up some material on this side of the board in order to get some files as if it were a Banco Gambit. And he is insisting on trying to attack my center, which makes a lot of sense. This trade will come at some point. And it's interesting. This is certainly not the worst Gambit of all time. He always has to worry that I'll play E3, but I'll probably save it for a better moment. I'm now going to attack these guys. And we got a lot of pressure here for a pawn. Look at that. We're actually up material now. I don't know why not to take it, so I take it. I could take another pawn. Let's get greedy. And I'm imagining this guy is going to go here. But right now, my knight is covering all these squares, and the queen is on this square. And they hung this rook, <laughs> and he, all these pawns are hanging. Well, this has gone insanely well. Janish Gambit gone insanely well. One of the best gambits we've seen in a long time. We might get more than one win for the quest today. I thought his knight would go to this square. And he'd force me to play like F6 or something, but that didn't happen. Okay, so I'm going to just position my queen menacingly close. <laughs> Infiltrate on the back rank and then try to either win a queen or deliver a checkmate. He's got three pieces and he needs to somehow use them like immediately. But I don't he doesn't have anything. He's not even close to setting up any tricks. So we're going to just come on the back rank, deliver a mate, cross it off the list. Janish Gambit. It's as easy as that. Wow. So I, what I was hoping for was I was, we're, we're in the middle of two quests right now. So you're watching this on YouTube. You're seeing the video and it's like, we just finished with the Janish Gambit against the English. But also, simultaneously, what I was farming for is the reverse of the gambit that you see, the Sicilian wing gambit trap <laughs> down below. And this is something that's never been played via this move order. If my opponent had played knight to c3, most popular move, I would have played d5. d4 is the most popular move. I would have played e4. He would have potentially played bishop f4, or at least that's the most popular move. I would have played here. He would have played... E3, that's the most popular move. I would have played A6, right? No, we're down a tempo. How do I make it? Wait, how would I have done this if it were black? The trick, I'm going to keep this here for just a second. Well, we'll come back to it. The trick that we're trying to do is we're trying to play a reverse. Uh, here's the gambit that we're trying to farm. Against the Sicilian, sorry. We're trying to play this. Is it possible to play against the Sicilian? It's already on the list, but I guess only for... YouTube hasn't seen it, so there's something special. Against the Sicilian today, we're trying to play this trap. I'm trying to mirror it opposite sides, where they can start this way or they can start this way. And in either way, if you can get to a position like this and get this, we're waiting for the day, the counter on the screen. For the last 12 hours and 30 minutes, I've been waiting for somebody to take this with their knight. And after this, decide to go in with this knight, which looks at first to be immediately winning, like C3 is just some big mistake. But after king to D2... Most people take, again, very important to stress, this is a losing trap, <laughs> very dubious indeed. But we're waiting for somebody to go here so we can hit him with this. And they can't bring their king up due to the crisscross applesauce nature of the position. But somebody would get here and we're gonna hit him with this, winning a knight 
getting a winning position, which is what actually happens most often or 87% of the time. So my question is, the next time we play against the English, is there a way to get that same thing that we just are trying to do against the Sicilian? Or is it impossible due to the fact that white has an extra tempo? We're about to hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's actually pretty funny. But I'd have to play here. They would have to play here. At some point, I need this. There should be a way, right? But here, they would have to do, like, something. How would the trap work? Because they can't play here yet. How do we gain the tempo? I don't know. I feel like there was. We saw this yesterday, and we found we figured out a way to actually achieve it. Let's be smart here. Let's just think about this for a second, because I know there's a way to do it. Didn't we literally figure it out yesterday? My next move needs to be to take here, and they need to take this, and it would be the reverse. How does it work? How is it conceivably possible? I will hydrate for the folks on Twitch. Am I crazy? We figured out how to do this yesterday. It would have to be here. It has to be here. It has to be here. <laughs> is there a clip? Could we do it? Could we do it without knight to f6? Does it maybe still work without knight to f6? We don't have time to play knight to f6 if we're doing this against the English. But we could still take. And again, most people take with their bishop. But theoretically, people could take with their knight. Why didn't I save the analysis? If you don't commit it to memory, it's, it's not worth writing down. That doesn't make sense, but... This should be a trap that loses if they take the rook. The 100% of time, the one game that has been played 100% of the time, people have fallen for it. Now, again, this is insanely losing. We haven't played knight to f6, so another resource for white is to bring the queen out. But if they took it, it's the same trap. They'd have to fall for it. So we're 100% going to try this. And we're going to account, account this as an attempt because there was the theoretical possibility of doing quite the same thing. So that is a super dubious mega losing trap. Now you need to risk, you need to risk a plus four position in order to get it. But you know what? I'm just the kind of guy up for the task. Instead, what happened in our game was the opponent played much differently. And we ended up getting like a crazy good position. Like, I don't know, just around here. Like it, it felt like they never came up with something. They had the idea of putting a lot of pressure in the center right off the bat. But after that, like around here, like this was just not the, the path forward. I suppose he's worried that I'm going to kick his knight or something. But after queen to b6, which I saw immediately but didn't play immediately. But at some point, queen to b6. And then everything fell apart very quickly. So yeah, one rook fell off and then a lot of other, a, a lot of other rooks fell off so that's the janish gambit let's mark it off the list so this is a new one this is a new one for twitch and youtube which means we get to mark it off we get to link to the original game we get to go here we get to go gambits i've won with 21 when i actually make the youtube video i'll update this one and that means there's only 740 oh <laughs> 